Hello again and welcome to another episode of Space Engineers. Today I'd like to present to you several small utility drones and combat drones which I have built specifically to work within an, uh, another station or ship or large ship. I also have built this, uh, ca this carrier for them and the small optical obstacle course. So first let's select one of them. Actually let me show you what they are exactly. First you have the rocket uh, combat drone, Kathleen combat drone, drill, cargo, grinder and welder. Now, I've already copied one the uh, rocket drone which I'm going to place this in front of the entrance. So to control them I have to actually own them. So go in to the control panel, set the ownership to myself and move on to the control panel and do the same with the antenna there we go I head back to the uh, drone take the remote control control it and switch to any of the cameras I have several cameras in case uh, some of them gets destroyed which is a very likely scenario since they are unprotected and at the very front as you can see, it can manage uh, to move around, even uh, in such a tight spot. Here we found the enemy's reactor. Go ahead and destroy it. As well as the, uh, some of the gyroscopes. There we go. Moving on. Close. and we have an interior turret firing at us unfortunately be because of the tight space I can't really move around easily so ideally I'd be using the Gatling, uh, tur Gatling uh, drone at first followed by the rocket launcher but we'll, I'll have to do here there and my drone still in one piece it's still flying continuing on you can sabotage these, these uh, fighters. There we go. And just move on. Back out. Oh, come on. It can get difficult to control, but there's just nothing you can do about it. I can't build a smaller drone, otherwise, it just won't have any possibilities, any features. And there you go. <laughs> Let's switch on to a uh, utility drone. Same thing, I paste it in front of the entrance. The T drones unfortunately don't have a lot of space, so the only access is here. They control as well. You can also control them directly without through your suit radio. Simply press K, switch to the drone. Remote control, there we go, switch to the camera and move on. I've selected now the welder. Again, it's also... Uh, it's just moving around is a bit of a challenge, but it's not impossible. And with time you can get used to it. There we go. I've made a special area here for getting used to using the utility drones rather than the combat drones. Switch to the welder, and there we go. We can keep working on them. The point is that having to haul all the items by hand, especially if you have uh, re survival realistic uh, inventory size, takes uh, several trips. It takes quite a long time. The uh, these uh, drones have bigger storage space, so you can use them instead. Moving on to the uh, carrier. It's not meant to see combat, but nonetheless has uh, two Gatling turrets, one at the top, one at the back. Had a bit of a uh, lag. The door autom opens automatically through the sensor here. Just as we enter, we see six control panels, so that you can control all six uh, drones at the same time, by different people. Four gyroscopes. Well, several nuclear reactors. One, two, three, four, five, 
and two car small cargo containers. We have here the bridge, two flight seats, giving a pretty good view of the surrounding. The ship is actually quite fast, but doesn't stop very well, so you should be careful. But in any case, you don't really need to stop fast since it's not meant to get that close. You only need to stay in in a range of small antennas, which is you can set it to 5,000 meters, so not a big, not a problem. And of course, we have a few of the six landing gears, which will hold the uh, the drones. Also, when you build uh, this ship, whether it's uh, by pasting it as a, during a creative mode, or when you are building it, you should make sure that the uh, sensor is actually set to be owned by you and set to not detect enemies or neutral players this way only you and your allies can actually access there you go i hope you enjoyed this one as well let me know with the like dislike buttons as well as the uh, comment section if you would like to elaborate anything about it and don't forget to subscribe i will be making more videos and i hope i'll see you next time